we realized that we needed to accelerate leadership development. And I'd held down barely several jobs and moved around the business. Part of it was let the kid do it, let the kid do it. So I'd do anything. I got to start our corporate communications group and I started our quality customer satisfaction group because again, there weren't many of us and so I'd do whatever. But about 20 years ago, we realized we needed to accelerate leadership development. I don't know if you've ever been there. When you have an opportunity to seize or a problem to solve, you generally put a leader on it. And we had problems and opportunities, and we looked at our leadership bench, and we said, yeah, it's, it's not where it needs to be. And so I was asked at that point, even though I had additional responsibilities, to spend 90 to 95% of my time helping our leaders grow, both our corporate leaders and our restaurant leaders. And that's the journey I've been on really for the last 20 years. And so today, we'll talk about the latest chapter as we have tried to serve our leaders. And my prayer is that it would, it would add value to you. So let me start by saying congratulations for weathering the last 24 months. You know, it was this week, two years ago, that it was declared we're in a global pandemic. And I don't know how that has been for you, but I'd like you to think about it. Think about a word or phrase that represents some of the challenges you faced in the last 24 months. And I'd, I'd like to ask our online uh, community to do the same. Think about a word or a phrase and put it in the chat. What were some of the challenges? What were some of the feelings? What were some of the emotions that you felt over the last two years? Shout it out. Who's got one? This is one of the first group participation moments. I don't want you to miss it. Refining. Refining. Difficult. Difficult. Exhaustion. Fear. Fear. Tested. 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 How about online? We've got some good words coming in, Becky. Not yet. Okay, warm up those keys, folks. You're not off the hook because you're not in the room. We need, we need you to be with us here. One, one or two more. The unknown. Isolation. Anybody work really hard the last two years? I've, I've talked to a lot of people that would tell me they've never worked harder. Well, we started the work that we're going to talk about today, Smart Leadership, pre-pandemic. And we identified things that you're describing and others as impediments to leadership effectiveness. Things that were hindering leaders from making the impact and making the difference that they really wanted to make. And so what we believe has happened is that the pandemic didn't create the things you just talked about, but it exacerbated the problem. It magnified the problem. And we were looking for some way to categorically talk about those things. And we landed on the metaphor of quicksand. So think about that just a second. Some of you, I would argue many of you, have been in quicksand for the last couple of years. Now, I've never personally been in quicksand. And I don't actually want to experiment with it. But I've done some research. And there's some things we know about quicksand. First, very few people go there on purpose. If you've ever been in it, either literally or figuratively, you might have fallen in it, you might have been pushed, but you didn't jump in of your own accord. We also know from the, from the firsthand accounts that men and women who find themselves in quicksand experience a level of hopelessness in many cases, particularly if they happen to be alone in that moment. Loneliness is also another word that, is, that has come up as these survivors talk about their quicksand experience. And then the force and the power, is it's hard to imagine. It's, it's, they say it's like just being wrapped in wet concrete, but it's so heavy that you can't even move. But like I said, this is actually not a new phenomenon, even if it's been uh, aggravated and magnified by the pandemic. So we, because we started this, as I said, a couple of years before the pandemic, and we had already discovered some things that were forming our view of quicksand. Little things like distractions. 
Do you know that if you work in an office pre-pandemic, that on average you were distracted every three minutes? Now, some of you during the pandemic would say, hey, I got kids at home. I was distracted more often than that. But see, the fundamental problem is the psychologists tell us that it takes 20 minutes to regain the level of mental acuity that you had before the distraction. 